In a Fox 23 investigation, grocery prices keep going up. In mm -hmm. fact, the latest consumer price index found over the past year, food prices have spiked 10%. That's something we haven't seen since 1981. Yeah, so crazy. So where can you get the biggest bang for your buck? Fox 23 investigative reporter Jana Clark set out to do some shopping at grocery stores in Tulsa to find the answer. Filling up your shopping cart at the grocery store has gotten much more expensive, so we set out to find the best prices. Tulsa shoppers I talked to say they've noticed the rising grocery prices. Prices are going up everywhere. Everything's going up. Everything. Like Cheez-Its went up, I think, like a dollar, which I don't, don't know why. The grocery prices going up, how has it affected your family? Um, a, a lot, because we just don't buy as much as we used to. I mean, we have to really watch the money. To help you watch the money, I went shopping. Here's my grocery list, 10 items. A gallon of milk, a box of mac and cheese, canned green beans, bread, cereal, and eggs. I also grabbed fresh broccoli, a bag of apples and meat, chicken breast, and lean ground beef. Looking at the price per pound. I decided to fill my carts at four major grocery stores in Tulsa. Reese's, Aldi, Target, and Walmart. And I bought store brands to get the lowest prices possible. My first stop, a popular grocery store in Tulsa, Reese's. Here's what I found. Mac and cheese and green beans each under a buck. Bread was less than $2, and eggs and broccoli cost a little more than $2 each. Milk cost about $4. A bag of apples rang up for more than $6. Chicken breast was $5.29 per pound, and ground beef, $6.59 per pound. I couldn't buy store brand cereal, so I looked for a kind that was on sale. I grabbed Cheerios for $2.50. Before taxes, when you add up all the groceries at Reesers, the total price tag, $32.21. Turns out I never paid more than that for these 10 items. The total price only went down at the other stores. So I'll show you where you can really pinch those pennies. Next up, Target. Chicken was the cheapest here compared to all the stores I checked at $3.19 per pound. Ground beef cost 30 cents more per pound compared to Reesers. The price of milk was about the same. Bread was 50 cents cheaper. But other items like broccoli, mac and cheese, and green beans cost a little more at Target. Overall, though, I saved a little money. Target's total, $29.36. It's almost $3 in savings compared to Reesers. At Walmart, some items were more expensive and others cost less. I found the great value brand milk as well as mac and cheese and green beans to be a little cheaper for each item. And Walmart's ground beef per pound also saved me some money. The total at Walmart, $28.33 about a dollar less than Target. The last store I checked out, another bargain hunter's favorite, Aldi. Don't forget your quarter for the cart. Quite a few Aldi store brand items get the win for being the cheapest of all the stores. Aldi had the lowest price of ground beef at $5.09 per pound. Also, the lowest price of apples, broccoli, milk, eggs, and bread. I did make the rookie mistake of not bringing my own bags to Aldi, and I chose not to pay for any bags, so that's something to keep in mind. After checking the receipts at all the stores, I found I saved the most money at Aldi. The grand total came in at $24.54. Aldi's total is almost $8 less than Reesers. It beat Target by about five bucks and Walmart by almost $4. But remember, except for that one box of Cheerios at Reesers, I bought all store brands. Have you noticed that if you buy store brands, it seems to save money? Yes. While I was shopping, I compared the cost of the store brands to name brands. It was clear at every store, it saves big bucks when you buy store brands. I asked the Reesers Regional Vice President Anthony Grant how much shoppers will save. Give me a percentage of about how much you think you'll save by buying store brands. Okay. By buying store brands, between that and the national brands, somewhere between about 22% to about 30, 35%, depending on the item. So quite a bit. Yeah, quite a bit. Anthony says if you buy store brands, not only are you saving money, but you're still buying quality. So when you're talking about your brand, which is best choice, mm -hmm. is it true that this is really some kind of a 
brand name? Yeah, of course. There's there's no growers or anybody named Best Choice. It's private label. It is a label, but it is usually uh, manufactured or bottled or canned by one of the national brands. In fact, Anthony told me what he personally thinks about store brands. It would be just as good, if not better. You know, I'm a store brands person myself. Shoppers told me besides buying store brands, they're finding their own ways to save. We don't buy as much as we used to. We just buy whatever we can afford. We stop buying a lot of more fruit and vegetables and stuff like that, but we usually get the cans and usually uh, beans and rice because they last longer. And then uh, some post toasties, uh, whatever we can afford. And you got to shorten it a little bit and just figure out what you actually need instead of like a want, like what's necessary instead. So mm -hmm. that's what I'm trying to do. I here we figure out what I need and not what I want. What they all want is at some point for grocery prices to go back down. In Tulsa, covering news that matters. Jana Clark, Fox 23.